Ah, so I see the aliens are attacking. Famously, the xenomorphs had strong acid for blood. So where can we find Dr. Atkinson? Whee! Pop. Ah, here he is doing a titration at the strong acid alien blood uh, with a strong base, which is what you need to know for SL. I tried to do this experiment with very little success. The curve didn't look like the idealized IB one, so let's forget that and try this. All right, acid-base titration graphs. So this is when you add hydrochloric acid. Notice the pH goes down. The IB could ask you uh, the contrary one where the pH goes up, and that's where you'd be adding the base sodium hydroxide. So question one, identify the equivalence point. Well, that's uh, when the reaction has ended. So this is the point here, the pH seven in SL. But in a higher level, it's a bit more complicated. Equivalence point. So pH seven in SL, reaction's over. Show how the concentration of the sodium hydroxide can be determined from the graph. Well, at the very beginning of the experiment, all you've got is sodium hydroxide in the uh, flask at the bottom. And so you can see there that the pH is going to be 13. So I like to use this little grid. So the pH is 13. So the pH is going to be, uh, pOH is going to be one. Don't forget if you add those up, it comes to 14. And that means that concentration of hydrogen ions is 10 to the minus 13, 10 to the minus one. If you multiply those together, it comes out at 10 to the minus 14. Alrighty, so that's the concentration of the hydroxide ions, and 10 to the minus 1 is indeed uh, 0 0.1. Question 3 calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid. Well, you might just read off the pH here and do some maths, but it says uh, calculate it. So what they really want you to do is to, I suppose, use this equation. So CAVA over NA is CBVB over NB. C's concentration, V's volume, and N is the coefficient. A, of course, is acid and B is base. So NA is the coefficient for the acid, that's one, and NB is the coefficient for the base. So these are both one here. So I might as well just remove them. Now the IP is only gonna give you one and one for the coefficients for these kind of graphs. I'm trying to find the concentration of the acid. So that's gonna be CA. CA multiplied by, so what's the volume of the acid? Well, I know the experiment finished at the equivalence point. If I was to come down here to look at the volume, 16, 17, 18, that looks like maybe 19 and a half milliliters. I'm gonna keep the milliliters, not convert to decimeters cubed, because they're gonna cancel. CB, the concentration of the base, well, we just talked about that. That's 0 0.10. And the volume of the base, that's in the question, 25 mils. So CA is going to be 0 0.10 multiplied by 25 divided by 19.5, which is 0 0.12. Eight moles per decimeters cubed. And the pH of this hydrochloric acid, well, if I know the concentration of the acid, 0 0.128, H plus being the acid, of course, then the pH is going to be 10, oh, is going to be 10 to the minus 0 0.128. That seems about right, doesn't it? So the pH is 0 0.744. Let's do a little bit of due diligence with the significant figures. 
there's two sig figs here, two sig figs here. So we're kind of locked into two significant figures. So really this should be uh, 0 0.13 moles per decimeters cubed. And let's knock off the four there. So the IB loves these questions, these type of questions, uh, multiple choice especially, to do parts of these simple calculations. And we're done.